Okay guys, so today's project is a calibration system for an RC motor. It's able to measure how many grams force we're pulling, the current it's using up and the faults. It displays it on an OLED screen and it's just a really cool project. I hope you guys enjoy it, uh, so watch now. Okay, so it's currently a bit of a mess, but this is a load for testing the amps. Uh, so this will be able to tell me how many amps I'm currently drawing once the battery's connected. I then match this up with what the Arduino is saying as the input. Uh, from there we will have the equation for getting this and we can calibrate and always have the same figure. Uh, then we've got the, um, the weight sensor here, the scale, which is using the HX711, uh, which is this little green module. Uh, so we got that calibrated again. All I did for this was I set it to zero, put a mass on which I knew the weight of, which was 500 grams for me. From this, I knew how much to multiply or divide by to get the exact figure. Then here we've got just a variable resistor which we'll be using to control the speed. So we start from zero, work our way up. We see how much it is on top speed and how much current is drawing on top speed. Uh, this way also prevents any spikes which happen. Um, you'll see these in motors often, so you want to avoid those. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all of it. So it's time to assemble it, put it onto a board, uh, PCB boards, and switch it over so it's actually human readable. I'm going to be using an LCD screen on it as well to show the all the data on that. Okay, so this is the finished product. We've got the battery pack here. We've got the input, the output. We use the voltage off the battery pack to power this, the Arduino and all the electronics on this side. Then we split into the negative to get the amps. And then on this side, we've got the main motor, which goes through an ESC. In the middle, we have the load sensor or the load cell. This is for measuring how many grams are being pulled or how much it's bending. Then we've got the board for this on there. We've got an Arduino Uno for the main processing, uh, I2C OLED screen for displaying the information. We use a variable resistor to program in the pulse width modulation, which is what the ESC needs to control the speed. And then we have underneath the OLED a voltage divider for measuring how much faults we're taking. Using all of these, we can make a display which shows all the information needed to work out how many grams of thrust or grams force is being pulled by this motor or pushed. It works both ways, uh, so you can reverse that if needed to. I was going to add an SD card reader so we could save all the information, all the readings being put. Um, however, I had a bit of a struggle doing this and 
it just wouldn't work, mostly because the Arduino when an SPI with the SD card, as well as I2C with the OLED, it just ended up being too many um, local variables being used up, so there wasn't enough basically RAM uh, in the Arduino uh, to work with both these. Uh, I think I might upgrade it, use a different board, one which can handle both, maybe the ESP board, uh, the Node one, that's quite good. Okay, so we've currently got uh, no amps, uh, the thrust is a bit out, so we need to zero it, and the voltage is at 11.9. So firstly, we want to set that down to zero. Restart. Okay, so now it's a bit closer to grams. Should be around zero. We've got uh, that movement is because the motor's slightly moving, as you can hear it. So if we slowly apply some power, for some reason it doesn't start until it's about 60, which is, I think it's a bit weird, might be the ESP, the ESC is wrong. So as you can see there, we got about 480 grams of uh, thrust force being pushed uh, or pulled, technically. So this would be very useful in a plane. I think this motor will work really well, although it did take up to, uh, I think it was about 10 amps, and that's, you see the voltage went down. That's mostly because these batteries are a bit poor. Um, they are recovering slowly, as you can see, it's going back up. Okay, so now it's built, it does work, as you saw. Uh, I was able to read the RC motor quite well. It was getting around about 480 grams force, which I thought was quite good. Um, however, it also proved that the ESC I was using didn't really work properly. It kept starting quite delayed and it was a bit unresponsive. Uh, of course, that's just a cheap one I had, so um, definitely need to improve with that. Also, I do want, there's a few like improvements I want to make, so I do want to get those done. The SD card would be really useful if I use a Wi-Fi chip board then I could display it straight on the computer as soon as it's live. So like live data, that would be really useful as well. Um, I could read the serial, which I was using at the same time. Could use that uh, and use the serial plotter with Arduino. However, I think it would be better if I could, could display my own sort of graph in software um, and use the data afterwards. So an SD card would be really useful. Uh, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out my Instagram. You'll see loads more videos and sneak peeks of things coming up. Uh, so enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.